Virtual LANs or VLANs have been used as a means to divide a physical network into multiple separate logical domains for a fairly long time and I suppose it can be considered a very common practice using both Ethernet switches and gateways. But Aces quietly included a dedicated VLAN section and has upgraded the basic guest network to the Pro version on some of its wireless routers, so it's worth having a look at what can be achieved using these two features. The VLAN and the Guest Network Pro are currently available only on the new Pro series routers, as well as on a few more advanced devices which does include the ROG GTX 6000. But I have the Asus RTX 88U Pro on my desk so I decide that it's too much of a hassle to get the GTX 6000 from the box. To get an idea about what to expect, let's first access the web-based graphical interface. After logging in, we can see the Guest Network Pro under the General section. Oh, we got presets! And there's IoT there! Let's isolate some smart devices. Ok, let's make a new SSID and let's not use the same subnet as the main network since it would be kind of counterintuitive to what we're trying to accomplish. Then you can see some settings that relate to AI Mesh which allow you to apply the changes that we made so far to some or all AI Mesh nodes. And you can also set schedules to when the network will be available. Now you can see the new IoT network right here. It is possible to continue the configuration of the network and there are three main sections. You can change the authentication method but we are interested in the advanced settings. Since we'll be adding new devices very soon, you need to make sure that the DHCP server is enabled and it seems that the network has already received a VLAN ID. It is possible to change it. If you don't want the network name to be visible, make sure to toggle the switch. And we get lots of interesting options underneath the DNS server. We don't want the IoT network to communicate with the main network, so let's enable the IP isolation option. It is also possible to use VPN on the IoT network, just make sure to set them up beforehand. Lastly, you can see the smart client devices connected to the new network. Asus says that by creating a Guest Network Pro, a VLAN will be created as well in the VLAN settings, so let's check it out. There it is under the profile, you can see the VLAN ID, and you can change it. It's also possible to set up the port isolation. As I said before, this is important to block the communication between networks. We can do more by going to the VLAN section and choosing a LAN port which you can connect a smart device, a switch or an access point. If you intend to connect a single smart device, then choose Access and select the IoT profile that was previously created, otherwise select Trunk. To see if everything works fine, let's connect the device to the Wi-Fi IoT network and see if I can ping it from the main network, and then let's check the other way around as well. Since I am using Windows 10 at the moment, I opened a command prompt window and pinged the client device that can be seen in the dedicated IoT network section. And I couldn't ping the client, which is what we wanted. I also tried to ping the server device without luck, which is excellent. On the next step, I associated the LAN port 3 with the IoT network and I connected a Lenovo laptop to the said port. I also connected an Apple device using Wi-Fi just to see how the interface will display the client devices. Then I pinged the Lenovo laptop and it didn't go through, which is good. I also wanted to see the behavior of the VLAN when I connected a secondary network device to the router, so I set up the port 3 using access and kept the IoT network profile. Why not use Trunk? It's because it refused to connect to the Ingenuity switch and there was very little control from the router side. So I just used Access and it worked out fine. And this shows pretty much the main issue with Asus implementation of VLANs. There are no rules in between them and the IoT network is always completely separated from the main network, if you care about the privacy aspect. But some smart devices do need communication with a smartphone to use the app. Which is why for actual VLANs it's better to use a network switch that has a proper implementation of VLANs. That being said, let's see if the engine switch and access point combo were isolated from the main network. I first pinged the switch, then the access point, and as you can see, the access was blocked. Then I connect the computer to the Wi-Fi network of the access point, and it was blocked from the main network as well. Note that you will be able to see these clients in the router interface, but they will appear as connected via cable. Lastly, I wanted to see if the settings propagate within an AI mesh network. To do so, I set up an RTX86U as a mesh node and then I added the new router under the Guest Network Pro. 
This way, the Wi-Fi IoT network will expand to include the new mesh node. But the curiosity is at the port level. From what I could gather, you can't use VLAN on the ports of an AI mesh node, so you can only connect wireless client devices to the isolated network. At the moment, using the current available firmware, this is what you can do with the VLAN and the Guest Network Pro. It has been improved from previous firmwares and I assume it will continue to be developed on future versions as well. So make sure to upgrade the firmware regularly for potential new improvements and functions. That's all for now, see you next time!